Hey guys, this is Viran from Secret the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another character design, but it's not of a new character. So if you've been here for quite some time, you would probably be familiar with this character and his name is Tayan El Rubin Quintet. In his original world, he is a fire mage and um, he is of a swan and eagle lineage. Um, yeah, I've had this character since I was young, so I like, I have like that Giji, G, Gijinka vibe to it. But what we're doing right now is his casual clothing, but it's also like his modern, um, current world AU type of clothing. So I mentioned it in the other video where I edited his body that Seiyan is one of the f few characters that I have a really solid mental image of his wardrobe. I know what he wears, I know what he wants to wear, I know why he wears them, and yeah. So it's really easy to design clothes for him, and I actually did a sketch before just to like loosen up, and I'm going on Pinterest now to like research potential different styles or how certain clothes are, how certain clothes fit and stuff like that, and that's trying, that's something I want to try to incorporate more into my works, like doing research. Uh, beforehand because sometimes I just like just go the heck with it and just pen to the pen pen to the paper or tablet and just go with it but I feel like I should research a lot more so his outfit for his casual outfit no um the the design for his casual outfit is very simple um it's basically a hoodie which he likes wearing some sweatpants of sorts and um rubber shoes and a nice jacket um, so my layer so my system if you don't know yet is that I would take advantage of the groups and the layering system of Photoshop or Clip Studio to basically dress up my character so right now we have the base which I edited in a video which I will link in the end card probably um, so I'm just gonna draw on his clothes which is pretty fun it's fun to like hide and show layers. <laughs> so Seiyan, um, in his modern AU, though even in his fantasy canon verse, he's a dancer, he's a very active character, he likes running and he likes running around and he likes dancing in general. So he tends to wear clothes that are comfy and soft and really easy to move in. And he also likes wearing clothes that he won't sweat in so much. Um, it, he has this really chill, casual style. So it's comfort of sorts over fashion. So he's wearing a hoodie, right? It, I'm, I'm drawing the hoodie. And originally I wanted it to be like slightly patterned off of his fantasy uniform. So I originally put like zippers that would pretty much open up the middle part so like you know how leather jackets work of sorts something of that idea um, but I realized I wanted him to wear either a cardigan or a jacket so I moved that idea to the jacket instead so he's wearing red and blue but if you actually compare his fantasy outfit to his modern AU outfit you will see the hints of like the fantasy one in his current outfit so he's wearing like these, I don't know what you call these pants to be honest. Um, they're like sweatpants of sorts but they like, they're loose and they're in a khaki color and they seem really comfortable, comfortable to wear. Why did I say comfortable? It's comfortable. <laughs> Whatever. So in the past I had a hard time drawing shoes because feet are weird. The shape is weird, it's hard to draw them. So I tended not to draw rubber shoes because of how they're shaped and how they interact with the foot. So I usually draw like boots or something sleek and slim that's easy to draw. Um, I guess because I improved as an artist already, uh, I seem to be able to draw sneakers now, I guess. <laughs> He has this very like young adult millennial vibe to him, doesn't he?
pretty happy with how my works sort of turned out recently. Granted, I still have a lot of stuff to improve upon, and I'm not like, you know, got here yet in terms of skill. But I really do love how I render clothes now. Like, I am not relying on the line art anymore to guide me as much. Though, I do use line art when I want really harsh and noticeable shadows, like with his clothes. Because there's a lot of folds, I tend to use line art still. Um, but I'm not reliant anymore on on the lines to tell me that there's a shadow. Um, I can just like sort of paint it in and it's really great because I've always wanted to have that slightly paintery style but I didn't want to be 100% painter either. I liked, I liked anime and I, liked, I sort of liked that shell, shell, cell shading look but I really didn't want that harsh vibe or that harsh um, coloring style that cell shading has. So I'm really happy in this nice little medium that I have right now. <laughs> So, yeah, it's nice. So the little necklace is just a little, um, cause he's a personal RP character. You will, you really wouldn't see him anywhere else, cause I don't use him publicly. Um, but that necklace is just a sort of a reference to his lover. Um, yeah, cause his lover likes the color red, and Sehan likes the color blue. But it's it's just a little fun little thing. So this jacket, I love it so much. I will wear this jacket. Oh, sometimes I do that. I design stuff because I don't want to wear it. No, that's very often. Especially when I was young, when I was designing clothes. When I was at HSI 12, 10, 11, 12, when I first made my set of characters, um, I would draw them just because I wanted to wear certain clothes. And, oh, I have this idea for clothes, but of course they wouldn't sell that anywhere. Or maybe the style isn't a thing yet or wasn't a thing back then so i would draw my characters and i would like draw them in casual clothes sometimes and oh i want to wear that so bad and today seiyan's outfit is pretty much that well it's funny because i've always used seiyan as sort of my guinea pig and when it comes to fashion so his hairstyle uh was a hairstyle that i wanted when i was in high school but i needed to have my hair rebonded and my mom 100, didn't 100% really think it would look good, but when I got a bit older and I guess less reckless with my, I, I'm able to make my own decisions now in college. That is in college. Uh, in college, she allowed, she finally said, fine, like, try it and see how it turns out. And it turns out pretty great. So I used to say it as like my, my guinea pig for the hairstyle to like flush it out, see how I want it cut. And, like, I remember even sort of sketching it out for the hairstylist because it was really specific. It's basically, it's basically an inverted U, but one side is shorter, so it's an asymmetrical cut. And then there's back, so I really had to sketch it out for the hairstylist who also, which I really love because she was able to accommodate my teenage craziness a little bit. And yeah, it was fun. So... And then now, the, the clothes say and wear sometimes, not all the time. Um, like this jacket, I would 100% wear that. <laughs> so Sayan's my fashion guinea pig. He's not my self-insert because his personality is a little bit, no, his personality is pretty different from mine. Um, but he's my fashion guinea pig <laughs> for now, at least until I get a different character who's a bit more in my style. 
I originally actually wanted like a leathery, a red, reddish leathery jacket, but I didn't think Sayen would wear like even leatherette to be honest, unless he's performing. So I don't know what material this jacket would be. It would be something a bit stiffer and thicker than say cotton, since cotton's really soft and pliable. So maybe. Man, I don't know anything about cloth to be honest. So, yeah, <laughs> it has like a, it has a slight, I guess, canvasy-ish texture. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's layer one, and you get layer two with a jacket, and that's pretty much his outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this character design session. Like or subscribe if you did. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and I will see you around.